A&M Commerce Lion men fall at home in overtime, 93-88, to thus ending their first Southland Conference season. But wait, there's a little bit more to go because the Southland Tournament is up next, and the men are going to be on the floor Sunday evening at 5, going up against the tournament host, McNeese State. Just who you wanted, Coach, right? Yeah, I mean, we didn't uh, we didn't care um, who we were going to play then. We were trying to take care of tonight, um, handle what we could handle. Um, did a lot of good things. Uh, they don't hand out trophies for almost doing something. Sure. Um, so uh, very disappointing uh, to shoot 60% and lose a game. Shoot 60% in the second half and don't, uh, don't find a way to get a win. Um, we just – they kept coming at us, and we didn't do a good enough job rebounding the basketball. Um, and, and they got to the foul line a bunch, um, and they really cashed them in, which we knew they would do. Um, they're the best free throw shooting team in the country, I believe. Um, so, uh, you know, credit to them. They came on the, on the road and, and, and won a game that and I thought we played well in, led for 26 minutes. And, um, but that's that's championship team over there, uh, and they were going to keep, keep battling and uh, keep finding ways to make plays. The only way for your guys to move up was to win and get a little help elsewhere. The help elsewhere uh, evaporated before this game uh, was much into the second half. Uh, so it, gotcha. it so didn't Lamar, have any Lamar import. Lost. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, I was just told who we were playing. I didn't really. Oh, okay. Know yeah, well, that's scenario, all you care scenario. about, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Coach, what, what do you tell the guys after this game, knowing that really nothing changed ahead of the tournament going in? Oh, the, you usually give them till tonight to be happy or not not, not happy uh, after a game, but it, it, as soon as you walk out of the locker room, it's over. Um, we've got to get on to it, uh, and we got to get prepared for McNeese. And, um, you know, we're going to pack. We're going to pack for four days. Uh, we're going to pack to be there. Um, and, you know, I, if our guys uh, have learned anything going through this season, we can lose to anybody, um, but I think we can beat anybody too. Um, so, uh, excited about, you know, just this opportunity. Um, you would, you'd love to get a bye, uh, but um, we didn't get it. Uh, finished in fifth. Uh, so credit to our guys for, uh, you know, doing a nice job and, and, and uh, you know, winning some games, especially some road games. So um, we're going on the road, uh, neutral site for some of them. Obviously the first game will be a true road game. Uh, we've been good in those situations. So our guys will – Get healthy, get re-focused, uh, and uh, we got to get ready for you know a good McNeese team, a lot better McNeese team than their record uh, suggests. They really shoot it, they rebound it, uh, they make it difficult. Uh, they mix up their um, mix up their defense, uh, keep you guessing on that in the floor. So uh, you know we'll have a lot uh, a lot in front of us, and it's definitely going to be a tough test uh, going on the road and you know playing the host. Coach, you had two games that were in quick succession turnarounds. Northwestern State, you played two days after the first game uh, here and there. Uh, the turnaround with the Islanders just a little bit longer. You played them Thursday last week and then get them uh, however many days it was to today from then, six days. Uh, what does that do to the team? Do the guys, do they absorb stuff better? Is it an easier lesson the second time around? I don't know. Every game has – every game's its own – his own thing obviously you prepare and uh you kind of know what the other team's going to do um and you know we had some good moments um defensively and offensively and how we, we had some bad moments um but you know we kept battling we play them to you know to, play them to overtime and uh just out of the gate in overtime it did not look pretty we did not it was it was we were slower than that. they just did not look good uh to start um i used my timeout pretty early uh just to try to find something, but, um, you know, it, it wasn't a good result, obviously. J.J. Roma Rosario and Alex Peavy both had admirable efforts today. Not the biggest numbers either of them ever had scoring, but J.J. with 10 points. He had one assist, one steal, five rebounds, though. And Coach, he seemed like he was deflecting everything there for a while underneath the Islanders' basket. Yeah, and he uh – he got into foul trouble. Um, ended up still playing 26 minutes because we went to overtime, but uh, I thought he did a nice job. And we got contributions all over the board. Um, we'll have to go back and look, see what, uh, from a uh, defensive standpoint, where we had our lapses. Um, but I thought overall our, our, our guys played played well together. I mean, you shoot 50, 30, 70, I mean, just you do 
enough offensively, but we just didn't get enough stops defensively. Did the Islander style change any? You know, we talked about the rebounding, the way that they just crashed three guys in there, just kind of yeah, they just kind of create a seeing a, what they a, can a mess draw. down there, um, and that you know it, what creates such a a hard matchup for them is. Uh, they have Tennyson and, and Ross, who didn't play particularly well, just didn't make shots the first game, but um, played well tonight. Um, those guys really put pressure on you. If you if you crack down, you help down on those bigs, uh, on the blackouts, um, you, you risk the opportunity of giving those guys naked looks. So um, we'll have to go back and look. Obviously, we can't uh, – we, we could face them again. So um, we'll do what we do every time, watch, evaluate, uh, try to make some small corrections. Uh, we're so far into the season – you know, there, there's no big overhauls happening. We, we kind of have an idea of who we are, our identity, um, and we just got to keep working on that and, and making sure the guys understand what, what works for us. Always got to tinker with the engine, though, don't you? Yeah, just a <laughs> little. You know, you can't just say, can't say the same. All right. So uh, how about this first season? You go way back to the beginning before you even played a game, and somebody told you what the record is, and you're going in as the five seed is – that attaining goals this first year out, or is that less than what you hope for? Sure, it would be uh, less, but realistic expectations. Well, it's I really don't understand um, our home record. It's never been like that in 12 years that we have not we have not we played better on the road than we have at home. And I, uh, you know, our postseason evaluation will look at that, um, figure out you know what it is uh, if there is something we can we can, but you know our. I don't even know our record at home, but it's not good. Uh, our, it's, uh, I think our road conference record was better than our home record, um, and that's just never been the case uh, here. Um, so, you know, to not defend home court, if you'd have told me that's our record, I'd be like, yeah, then it makes sense. We didn't defend home court, um, which is just really, really upsetting. It's not, it's not how you have successful basketball seasons uh, when it comes to your record. So. Um, but we're not going to play another home game here, so maybe it's good. Maybe we're going on the road. We're going to a neutral site, and we, you know we got to play at McNeese, and maybe we're better there, anyways. All right, Al Davis always said it just win, baby. So yeah. it doesn't matter where, right? All right, coach. I know you want to get to work on this. Uh, the first tournament coming up, Lion Men at five o'clock on Sunday evening, and it'll be against McNeese in Lake Charles. All right. Well, uh, appreciate everyone coming out. We had a great crowd tonight. Our band's phenomenal as always. Um, you know, our courtside seats were, were loaded with, uh, you know, people that have, are, are diehard basketball fans, and they're at every game, and they support us uh, through the ups and the downs. Uh, um, so we appreciate everybody, the administration, the school, and just every, you know, we, we had great. The, I know the answer was not that we didn't have an atmosphere here to win. So um, I appreciate everyone for coming out and continuing to support us, um, you know, it's through a long season, and, and I promise you next year, you guys buy your season tickets now. We're going to play a lot more games at home. Hey, right. uh, so we'll get the opportunity to be in the field house some more. All right, Texas coming here. Are they going to return? Yeah, now? that's not going to happen. <laughs> All right. Hey, folks, that's going to do it for this one. Lion basketball brought to you tonight like it's been all season long. My folks.